if you ever written any automation test, you should at least once in your lifetime have seen the error, no such element exception or element not clickable. So you ask your question, well, where's my element? I mean, you did do the um, selector correctly. Your code is perfect when you run it locally. So what's wrong? Why didn't the element click? Why wasn't the element shown? And even most importantly, how can I do this in Cypress? So I'm going to show you in this video three quick, maybe quick and dirty, ways to have your code wait for an element. So I'm here on the um, internet uh, Heroku app page and the test which I want to do is, so I load the page, then I click on the start. You can see it's loading here. Boy, it's loading for some time. And then you have hello world. So we have a test which basically does this. So it visits the page, it clicks on the button, and then it checks that um, this element is displayed. And let us just review this. If it is the correct element, yeah. So it is the correct element. So let me just start Cypress and run the test. MPX Cypress open. It's a brand new Cypress 10 installation. Nothing specifically or nothing special installed, which you wouldn't also install. If you do not have already Cypress 10 installed, I have a video how you can install it and how you can write your first test. So let me just pause the video for a second until Cypress starts. And it started. So we have end-to-end -end test configured. We want to do this in Chrome. And we want to run our spec file. And, and, well, our test failed. Oh, okay, this is not good, but first ugly way to do this. So the first ugly way to do this would be to actually have or do a wait, Oop, not a wait like that, a wait like Uh, yeah, ci dot wait, ci dot wait, and we do. I don't know. Let's wait six seconds. That's six thousand milliseconds. So the test. Uh, whoops. Hop, hop, hop. Yeah, not a string, but an integer. And now the test ran again. And and. The test passed. Yeah, but this is bad. I mean, this is really the ugliest way to do it. Uh, hard coding wait in here um, isn't the most user-friendly way of doing this. I mean, that would mean even if your test um, or even if the element shows on the page before the six seconds, uh, you would still have to wait six seconds. Okay, so let's see how we can do number two. We copy this, we mark this as X, we don't want to run it, we remove the weight, and we run the test again. And of course, it will fail. Now, it says here, timeout retrying after 4,000 milliseconds expected to find the element, but never found it. So, per default, we have, um, or Cypress will wait for a maximum of four seconds until um, it searches for a specific, or it, it throws such, a, such a, uh, an error. 
So let's see. Um, there is a way to actually change this. So if we go under settings and we do um, project settings and we search a little bit here for the 4,000 uh, milliseconds. It says here default timeout 4,000. Okay, so we can just copy this. We go back to our project. We then need to go to our cypress.config. And in here, we paste this and we replace the 4,000 with um, 6,000. And then we run the test again. And it passed. Now, the difference between um, this approach and this approach with the hard coding weight is uh, from, noon, from now on, um, whenever you, or whenever Cypress tries to get an element, it will wait a maximum of six seconds. If it finds the element before that, it will continue. If it doesn't, then it will wait six seconds. And that's the second way of doing this. And now let's copy it and try to do way number three. Again, we run the test and it will fail. Now we saw how you can add a really static weight. We saw how you can make a dynamic weight. And there's also a way, in the quick and dirty way, to specify to Cypress. Because you know, you have a part of the application which might take sometimes more. Um, more than the four seconds or the six seconds or the whichever seconds you want to set up as your default wait period. And you can customize the command in such a way that only for this specific action, Cypress waits a little bit longer. And how you can do that? Well, we go here and in the get, we can specify some options and we'll specify timeout and we'll give it, when we were with six seconds before, let's give it six seconds here as well. And we save this. We run the test again, and the test passed. Now, there you have it. These were three ways, three quick and dirty ways, how you can wait for elements in Cyprus. Write in the comments if you have other ways. Write in the comments if you like this video. As always, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.